Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns and in this video we're going to be covering AI projects. Now, if you've been using tools like ChatGPT or Anthropic Cloud, you might have noticed a really frustrating problem. Every time you start a new chat, you basically just have to restart from the complete beginning. The model doesn't actually keep context, it doesn't remember information, doesn't remember files or any of that stuff. So projects actually solves that problem. Let me show you what I mean. So here I am on my ChatGPT interface and to create a new project, I simply will select new project, give it a name, call this wedding planning, and then I'll create the project. Now here I can add files. This is where I can actually throw in every single piece of information that was used in this wedding planning document. So think the entire set list of all the guests that are going to be there. I can throw in every single meeting transcript that I've had with the wedding planner. Um, I can add in all of the food vendors that are going to be there in the area. So all of that information can just be thrown here. I can really do the same thing on Anthropic Cloud as well. So here I added in the meeting transcript. So this is a bunch of fake <laughs> meeting transcripts uh, between a couple of different people here that are getting married. It, I also have some information on food vendors as well as the wedding information. So now if I ask questions, so suppose something like, can I get a chocolate cake for my wedding? it's going to be able to reference all of those files when it's giving a response. So it says, looking at your wedding budget, I see that you have a $500 budget. There's no uh, flavor, but you'll want to consider a bunch of different things like the size, um, if it matches the aesthetic, any dietary recommendations. Let's ask another question. Do I have a song picked out yet? Right? So this is something that was referenced in the meeting transcript. So based on the wedding planning documents, you have your first dance song that's perfect by Ed Sheeran. So I'm going to say, where is that information? And it's going to be able to provide me from the meeting transcript. So it does say it over here, when this meeting happened and where that information is detailed. So how do you actually add something to your project knowledge? Well, suppose I remove this food vendor research. I can click on add content to the project and I can either add some text content, blah, 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 or it could be, for example, information from my Google Drive. And if you link your Google Drive, you can actually pull all of your files from your Google Drive here. Um, you can also add code. So over here, I connected my GitHub repository directly to Anthropic Cloud. So I can select a repository and then based on all of those files in that repository, it's going to be able to um, access or the, either the entire repository or just specific files from there. So over here, I can say, look, let's get all of these files, add this over here to the knowledge base, and then I can ask it whatever question that I would want. Now, I wasn't joking. I really do use projects for every single thing. Uh, as an example, if I have to create a PowerPoint presentation on whatever topic, what I would do is like, I'll simply take in every single piece of information that I have, and I'll just throw it over here. Then I'll actually give it a prompt. So for example, the prompt that I give here is create eight PowerPoint slides about the wedding, be as detailed as possible, include a bunch of bullet points in each slide. I also said, make it content rich and give me VBA code that I can copy paste into Microsoft PowerPoint. So what that means is while it's actually creating this code, let me show you how you can really easily add that to Microsoft PowerPoint. So first you want to open the program up. But when you see PowerPoint for the first time, you will not have this developer um, available. So you have to first enable it. Click on file and then select options. After that, you want to click on customize ribbon. And then over here, you want to scroll down and just make sure that this developer is checked. Then you can select OK. And after you do that, you should be able to see this. Now, why this is useful is I can then click on Visual Basic. And this opens up something like this. And over here, I need to click on this drop down and select module. Now over here, what I can do is simply copy this code that I got from Claude and then go back over here to this window and then select run. And once that's done, you can see here that it actually creates a PowerPoint set of slides and this is what it looks like. So we have a bunch of slides all about the actual uh, wedding information. Now, obviously it's not formatted great, but that's not a big deal because I can simply click on designer. And then here I have a bunch of different design templates that I could use. So as an example, I could 
say this one or maybe even this one looks like it's a ring for example i can even click on see more design ideas to see what other ones are available let's just pick one at random let's just say i'm going to pick this one well then if i go to the next one by default it is going to be able to allow me to take elements from the same theme that i have so over here i can either take some stock pictures because this is a garden event so maybe i can just add this picture in if i wanted to i could delete this picture add my own picture it doesn't really matter but this allows me to really, really then customize uh, each of my slides we could also use the knowledge base for something else maybe for example asking it questions about um, the code so like hey can you tell me about where this function is or what file references this function or maybe can you help explain like this one particular part of this code base so those are a couple of different ideas and really i would say like this is a great tool if you're not using it definitely add it or at least try it out um, it really helps to separate out all of your different chats. It just helps you keep memory of all of those pieces of information. And if you wanted to, for example, not provide any proprietary company information or something like that, well, you could also create your own version of projects over here on Open Web UI. If you go over here to maybe your workspace, you can create a knowledge base. And just like how you have a knowledge base for uh, the wedding information, you can create a, another knowledge base over here. And then uh, you have a model that can just essentially reference that knowledge base. It kind of works similar to that, but I still like the fact that we can really separate out each one of those products. So for example, if I'm working on wedding planning stuff, I just need to click on wedding planning and then I have all of my details, all of my information over there. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.